Hello, everybody. I am fucking Bear Bear Man. Um, this is Silver Chains, a little uh, horror-y, horror -ra 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 that I came across. Decided to give it a go. Um, dolls, yeah, they're almost invisible, whatever. Um, let's just jump into it. Good. Stupid mouse. Great, 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 great. Chirpy, chirpy, yeah, the cricket, cricket. Chirpy, 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 yeah, the cricket, cricket. Okay, either this is olden times, or I'm Amish. Do I, can I see some suspenders? Do we have suspenders? Let's check out my shadow. My shadow, do we see a hat? All right. Well, I'm I'm on a dirt road. I think the more important question is, when am I? <laughs> Did you bonk your little Amish head? No, I don't have a hat. But I, uh, okay, the, the the shadow of the tree scared me. <laughs> The mouse movement is a little jittery. The frame rate is fine, but the movement's a little jittery. I mean, not not terribly jittery, but... Yeah. I see you up there in the winder, Mr. Winderman. I really hope this isn't my movement speed for this entire game. I can't even sprint. Oh, I've been crouching. Why, why was I crouching? Still moving slow. Yeah. Fell asleep on your doorstep. Can you let me in? Give me a drink of water, please. I'll be your friend. Whoop, 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 whoop. Don't be, don't be hard, hard. Whispery, whispery. I can't move. I don't. Peter, 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 we need to explore that place. I will, but I don't think that um. That burned a little too fast. It was just a whoosh. Just a whoosh. How'd I get her? Last I remember it was an accident in this house. I passed it back. In the backyard? Pretty sure that looked like a prank. Cricket, uh, cracky. Crick, what? Ouija board. Of course there's an Ouija board. 
Why wouldn't there be an Ouija board? I don't... We're just going to pretend we did not see what's at the end of that hallway. Alright? I think that uh, we can all agree that it's in our best interest that we, we just ignore that. Oh. Fantastic. Key in the library. Sunny emoji. I'm left completely alone. All the maids resigned out of fear for their lives. I can't blame them. I would run away too if I could. What's done is done. I cannot hide. I cannot sleep. I hear them laughing and talking all the time. And this demonic giggling is driving me crazy. I know there's only one way to get rid of all this. This is my last century. Goodbye. So 1900. So this is this is olden times. Evelyn Manning. Um, how do I? Yeah. It's so dark in here. I can see in there. Little pussy. You fucking old Amish pussy. Okay, we're gonna walk sideways. So we still don't. Do I really have to go in there? I don't want to. Fucking great. Oh, hello. I have... What kind of weird-ass lamp is that? Can I... Can you fucking little shits move? I will say that, uh, compared to... I just finished playing Remothered, um... This is actually very well optimized, because usually a game would fucking have a, a shit fit at this much physics going on. So the game def must be pretty well optimized. I don't like that T is to get your lantern out. It should be F. Uh, maybe this is one of them old Brit bongy games where it's Torch. You see that that's that's one of the Brit Bongi terminologies that I don't agree with. There's there's some Brit Bongi things that I I can understand why they call it what they call it, but calling a flashlight a torch doesn't make any sense to me because a torch already exists. It's already a thing. Um Shut up. I think the game is British and it's pissed that I'm making fun of it. Like, I get that in, like, 90% of situations, if someone says torch, you know they're talking about the flashlight, but it, it still leaves some ambiguity and possibility for confusion. Um, I think that, you know... Just call it a flashlight. Because, like, what do you do if you're in a game, like, 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 uh, like a, one of them post apocalyptic -y kind of games? Um... Where there's, uh, you, you have today's technology, but there's also, like, 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 something like the forest or something. What if there's flashlights, but also torches? What do you call the flashlight then? Huh? You fucking smart-ass little fucking limey bastards. Oh, it, it's going! My first complaint is that it can be kind of cumbersome to get buttons to pop up. Whatever. Do I have any... Do I have oil that I need to worry about? I don't think so. What was that? Oh, okay. Someone saw the Silent Hills demo. For those of you don't know, something very similar to that happened in the uh, little teaser thing they released for Silent Hills. Not not PT. I'm, uh, this was after PT. 
there was a little video thing that got released that, yeah. All right. He did. My maids heard me screaming and called Dr. Morgan after the incident. Without my knowledge! Maybe they did the right thing, but I'm sure that I heard that terrifying voice. I tried to explain it to the doctor, but he was convinced that it was a side effect of my medication. He said it may have caused hallucination. Um, hallelujah. Hallucinations. Because I misused it. So I was prescribed new medicine, and Dr. Morgan asked, our new nanny to make sure that I take it correctly. Maybe it was hallucination after all. Can I... How do I... How do I... Oh, you can flip things over. Seems this person who wrote this doc... Hallucinations. Alright. I'm gonna run a bit. I wanna get an idea of... What kind of stamina system we're dealing with. Ooh, could it be a horror game that actually... There's a door here. There is a door here. There is a door there. Shut up! What? What? What you got? Okay! I We'll play hide and seek. I'll go first! Oh, I have a zoomy zoom. I have a zoomy zoom. Hey, I'd like to have a conversation with you. Well, we need to turn that off. Okay, so what was up? What's going on? What do you want to talk about? Hello, people. Yeah, that that was that was kind of. <clears throat> that was pretty obvious. Important, don't forget to lock the back stairs door and leave the key in the utility room. Children are not allowed to play in the kitchen. Okay. This shit again? Look, I done told you I don't like this stupid hippie music. <laughs> oh. Come in. Thank you for the key. You're a very friendly ghost. I can call you Casper. Um, Casper, there's nothing in here. It's too high. Well, we'll push this. You know, I'm going to be honest. That kind of tickles me. Um, it's not often that you see little touches like that in an indie game. That they actually took the time to make the animation have you scoot yourself forward. I mean, it was a little overdone unless this guy's got fucking T-Rex arms. But still, it was a nice touch. I can't reach it. I need something to reach for the key. Okay, let's... Go get something to reach for the key. Because we've already established... See, you, you see you see the um, uh, lantern? It looks like like my elbow's uh, cocked and I'm holding it like close to me. That's not it. That, that, that hand is just sticking straight out of my nipple. <laughs> Alright. I need to find a poker or something. Some kind of stick. Some kind of stick. Some kind of stick. 
gonna use it to reach for the key. Reach for the key. Ah, fire poker. Come here. Now. What? What are we doing? What are we doing? Gotta keep it in the circle. Keep it in the circle. Alright. Okay, I'm really surprised nothing popped up to spook me. Okay. You know, after how clunky Remothered was with that, I'm glad to play a game that just lets you use the fucking item if you have it in your inventory. Uh, there's some games that I would say benefit from making you go into the inventory, like the old Resident Evil games and stuff, but... Um, I'm pretty sure even the Resident Evil games, um, if you, uh, didn't make you do that for keys, they just made you do it for some of the, uh, puzzle items. David, correct me if I'm wrong on that. Maybe I should try upstairs first. Really? I can't. You can't just reach over that and unlock the whatever. It reminds me of when I played Fallout 3, there was like doors that were like obliterated. Uh and you could you could like literally see through it, but you still had to like have like a master level lock picking to get it open. <laughs> My beloved Harold died yesterday. Oh, poor Harold. Looks like this woman started to have problems after her husband's death. Yep, Rooney. Uh, I don't know what the point of that is. Oh, that's some good. That's actually some good world building. Like, um, I, I love it. I love when games do environmental storytelling like that. Um, you can you, you can infer from fact from this that um they were in the middle of boarding shit up when shit went down. That's 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 a neat little touch. I'm really liking the touch. Um. Am I Peter? Okay. I mean... I met someone in the dining room. It was a little girl, at least. It looked like her. I didn't see shit! Was there a ghosty goo in here? And I was too busy goofing off to see it? Dear Diary, the day before yesterday, my Herald came back after the long journey. I missed them so much, and our children couldn't be happier. Finally, the whole family was back together. Yesterday, we spent all day together, and he was told us stories of his adventure. He brought so many presents. Our children are very excited about all the toys and dolls that he brought. Harold is feeling unwell after a long ride home. I think he's just tired. I will go and draw him a nice bath. They were happy for such a short time. David! <laughs> Somewhere in a different world you feel a door opening. <laughs> what? What? Oh, boy. Okay, the, the reference was great right up until then. It's like it's like stopping to say, do you get it, huh? Do you get it? All right, whatever.
saving. Ooh. Oh, that's some good fire effects. That's not... Damn, this game is very well optimized, I gotta say. At least so far, there, there's been no enemies, so it hasn't needed to animate anything, but... What? Um... Thank you, little girl. Uh, <laughs> I thought the kid was pointing to tell me to run the other way. <laughs> Oops. Um... Oh, boy. Um, tall, terrifying woman chased me. No doubt she wanted to kill me. Apparently, it was the mother a little girl warned me about. So that's the mom that was mad at me. So that was a bad boy. Do you remember this land? It contains a secret. I think it works as a lever. Um... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what's happening. I mean, do I need to make the light land on something? Doesn't look like there's anything on the walls to make it land on. I don't know. They've even got the thunder working correctly. Okay, we're just going to You'd be surprised how many games um, uh, have the lightning and thunder at the same time for some fucking reason. Alright. What? Okay. Um. Well. Yeah. Okay. 
Looks like some writing on the wall. Hello. I fucked up. I thought I could, um, I thought I could go directly from a, um, crouch into a run. Usually games let you do that. This, this game's making me feel uncomfortable. <laughs> That's not what I intended to do. There we go. Okie then. No, I bet if I hid in that closet over there, I would have got a better view. A view of the spoops. Alright. <clears throat> Dear Diary, I don't understand what's happening in this house. I don't trust anyone. Last night I wake up. Went to check on the kids. When I entered the room, I noticed the smell. The same smell as always accompanied Harold when he returned from a hunt. I looked under the bed and found the decapitated remains of animals. There was so much blood, and it was mixed with dirt and bits of fur. And that stench. It was all under the beds of my children. I took the kids to my room and ordered the servants to clean the mess. Who could have done something like this? It seems to me that someone is trying to drive me crazy on purpose. To take away the only thing I have left. Moth shield. Dead animals in the children's room? That's terrible. Yeah. I want to be honest, I don't think the guy's narration really adds anything. Hello. Souls of the dead will never fulfill your request just like that. They like to make riddles and come to you only after you solve their riddles or fulfill their request. Usually these puzzles are connected with their life somehow. To solve them, I had to rummage through their past and learn all sorts of details of their lives. Thanks to the diaries, it was not difficult. But with children, it's not so simple. Basically, they want to play, but games are unusual. Sometimes the dead build barriers in the present, though, through which you, a human can't pass. They open them only if you fulfill their conditions, but we must remember that they see the world quite differently. Fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was just the way it was animated or something, but the that scooting close to me really freaked me the fuck out. <laughs> okay, let's find some photo bits. Hello.
one more photo bit. Hmm. Hello. Well, that's... I was on that photo. Does that mean that I'm their family? Did we yell at my brother? Can you... Is there any way to... View... I don't think there's any way to view the... I think those things don't stay on the screen long enough. All right, I guess we're going this way now. Okay. Oh, we're back here. All right. I don't think I need to go back into that area, though. Can I do anything upstairs now? No. No Peruni. Okay, well, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna make these uh thirty minuters. Uh yeah. So thank you for watching. Bye bye.